Have you ever been inside an 1812 parlor? We have a colonial house and we redid the parlor first. It's really a living space, but we call it the parlor because, hey, why not? It's an 1812 house. Come on, let's go inside. We picked our colors based upon colonial colors. So it's a really nice, rich colonial blue and a very subtle antique white. We figured with the antique white walls, and the blue, it would just look really warm and welcoming. It took a lot of work though to get this room done. This windowsill was rotted. Gil had to take it out completely and remake one. This windowsill is uh, delaminating. There's a lot of water filtration here. So I pulled this off and I got this veneer and I'm like wait a minute back in 1800 they didn't have veneer like this so I'm going to pull this piece of wood off and in pulling off this piece of trim this old piece of trim I noticed that the nails are modern finish nails so this is a piece of plywood one two three four five ply plywood I got to cut it out so this piece of wood is not original. These look original. The question is, what's original and what's not? Let's find out. get to see the inner bowels of Bon Air. Look in here. Dang, no buried treasure. I was hoping for buried treasure. But this board right here is definitely original. Very, very thick. But that's where we noticed it was hollow down inside. We thought we were going into a solid wall. First part of winter, our first year, we tried to have fires in here without the stove. That allows for us to have a really nice fire in there still and actually warms up the room. These walls back here had huge bookshelves on them, floor to ceiling. We had to make more room. My husband plays the piano and we needed room for his grand piano.
Lights. Camera. Action. Woo! It's bright. Yay. Parlor painting is complete. We are finally finished. Let's take a look. We have taken the time to sand and spackle and uh, caulk every single space that needed it. So what we'll do is we'll show people this room and say, hey, this is what the other rooms are gonna look like eventually. So when they see what bad shape they're in right now, they can kind of imagine what it'll be like. We found this neat colonial fabric, which I thought would be perfect to make window valances for the room. And I decided afterwards that cutting out part of the scene and using Mod Podge to put it on the fireplace just added that special little touch. I really love it. The parlor gets the western sun in the evenings and it about blinds us in here. So we decided, although we didn't really want curtains in here, that it would be nice to have some shears that would filter the light and then make a window valance. So as you can see, this is a window valance up here. I cut the wood and then upholstered it sort of like a, a headboard and made some nice window valances. Then with a the little cording, made tie backs and I think it looks really nice. We also, Gil made this really cool looking end table that was an old pulley system and he cleaned it up. We got an old wagon wheel, metal, steel or whatever, and we used that as the base. This is also a creation that he made. Let me turn it on for you. Neat, huh? Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.